In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an AWS command line interface on your laptop. As usual, it all starts from AWS console to the web interface. We log in, we see our region. Hope this tutorial we won't need it, but still good to know. And in the search bar, we type in IAM, which stands for Identity Access Management. And once there, we click Users, and then click Add New User or Add User. Now we type in a meaningful username. We choose Programmatic Access Checkbox and proceed. Here we don't bother with creating groups or anything like that, so we proceed further and we choose Administrator Access. Now, Administrator Access provides you with full access to AWS services and resources. It is not recommended to use this role in production settings, but for playing around, just fine. It just gives too much access without any sort of restrictions or controls. Remember, just to use it for playing around, not production use. Now we choose the administrator access, we click through, no tags, all good. Now we present it with the access key and access secret. You can download them as CSV for future use, but now we're going to use these two values to set up the console access from your laptop. Um, I'll copy over the access key because we'll need it in a second. Open a terminal. Now we type in AWS configure command and it will start the configuration manager. Uh, we put in the key, we copy over the secret, all right, then the region, for me it's a default one, it's already preset one, you use central, so I just press enter, same with format, default format for this JSON, I press enter. That's pretty much it, your AWS command line interface is all set up. But now I want to show you what happens under the covers or how you could have done that in more like programmatic, less interactive way. So AWS creates .aws folder near home location and there are two files, config and credentials. If you look inside of the credentials file, you'll find the access key and access secret that you just typed in. So that's what happens under the covers. This file gets created, those values being recorded. And regarding the region and the output format, which I just skipped because I have them preset, there is this config file, so the same thing. In config file, you can specify your region and default output format. So that's that. Your AWS console is set up. And now let's run some simple command to, to prove that it works. So we'll output some basic information about newly created user. In my case, it's this, the stats anchor backup, and enter, and it all works. You all set, see you in the next video.